Right, ladies, big night tonight. It's the NTAs already. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I had a bath last night, did all my legs and everything. <laughs> uh, all my bits done, got my toenails done, just in case. You know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so excited. It's such a great thing, isn't it? You know, and thank you so much to everybody who's voted for us. Yeah. We really do appreciate it. The lines it. are closed now, by the yeah. way, so and we can actually talk about for it. Us, <laughs> why didn't you vote for us? All right, but we're very excited because we see everybody that we know, friends of the show has yeah. been on, and it, it's a good night. Out, Janet, we have a lovely time. Look at face. <laughs> I'm anxious already. Why? I don't know what to wear. Oh. I'll always make a fool of myself on the red carpet. I did an awards once before and I wore my flip flops and was <laughs> pilloried in the tabloids. So, whatever I wear, I'm not going to be. And also, when we all walk in, I'm worried we're going to look like an overgrown but brownie pack or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, with the loose women. Yeah, oh, just enjoy yeah. it. It's good fun. Have you chosen what you're wearing? Of course, I have. I did it three weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jane McDonald's a star, mate. You know, we're rubbish at it. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit with you, Janet. Have you got a dress then? I've got about seven upstairs, and I, I can't zip one of them up. I'm like, oh. Oh, I can get various bits of my body into various bits of the dresses, <laughs> but I haven't got one dress that all the bits fit in. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is. British designers, can you just do dresses that I can get my arms through? Because that is the bit of my body that's not even fat. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got the dress that's on. True. They're very, very tight sleeves now. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I'm I doing boxing. I mean, Hulk, I box, so, you know, <laughs> I've got firm upper arms. I can't get them into the dress. Have you ever had any disasters? Because I, I know of a couple of years ago, I went to an awards do where I, I felt great. I really liked the dress that I was in and it looked lovely, you know, as you arrive and all this sort of stuff. And I went with my friend Jane and uh, we took sweeties with us and we sat through the awards <laughs> do having a couple of mints, yeah. like you do. And then afterwards, we all got on a bus and we went to the... Not like a normal bus you have to hail. They put on a coach for us. And um, <laughs> they took us to the Natural History Museum and all the ladies ran to the loo because, you know, we'd been sitting there for ages couldn't get the dress up. It was one of these fishtail ones that went in like that. And uh, I could hear all these ladies around me going, oh, like that. With couldn't, relief. With relief. And I had to go home. You had to go home? I couldn't, get the, I couldn't pull the dress up. I had a bit of a nightmare. Uh, about five years ago, I was nominated for um, Best Actress at the National TV Awards. Up against, it was the first year, probably a year more longer. It was, it was the year that Billy Piper was up against. Obviously, I had no chance because it was Doctor Who's year, the first year with Chris Eccleston. So I was in the front row, next, sat next to lovely Brad, Bradley Walsh, and um, I said, to, "Yeah, I had one of those moments when you really want to do something that's really bad, like run on stage or." Pull your skirt up or something, you know, because there's a camera on you and you like want to do something. That's school assembly not... feeling where everyone's being quiet and you want to go, Rah! you like want to cry or laugh yeah. or whatever. And I had one of these moments and I said to Bradley, you know what, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go up on that stage and I'm just going to get my bum out or whatever, laugh me head off. Bradley started laughing his head off. We both started laughing, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. The nomination, the, the camera was on me. Turn around, obviously Billy won, quite rightly. She went up, they cut back to you going, you're supposed to be going, oh, that's brilliant, you know, very gracious. I was roaring laughing. <laughs> <laughs> roaring laughing at my own gag, looking like I was laughing at Billy Piper winning this, which obviously I wasn't. No. And then, oh, it was awful. It was, us. It was, no, I wasn't. <laughs> it was mortifying. I mean, I wanted to cry. Oh. So I'm a bit worried about that tonight. No, don't we, because we're winning. Yeah. Oh, of course yeah. we are. Yeah. I mean, look who we're up against. And of course we are. I've got no chance. Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> no chance. No at chance at all. At all. <laughs> no. Oh, anyway. Bless us. Uh, there's a good bar there, apparently. Mm. Uh, now, speaking of looking our best for tonight, now, journalist David Gardner has uh, commented on a picture of Brooke Shields, Daryl Hannah and Melanie Griffiths. It's in the papers today. It's in the mail. And uh, now, he was saying that with a combined age of 151, they are still turning heads and looking fabulous. The three were attending a basketball game this week and was said to have caused a stir as they arrived and the 12,000 plus crowd uh, at the game were split between watching the action on the court and staring at the stars. Not those stars, those stars. Mm. Um, so how would you have reacted, you know, to all those people turning around and staring at you? Would you have enjoyed it or felt a bit embarrassed? Oh, it's a curse. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, every time, you know, every, every baseball, you know, match that I've been to... <laughs> In Wakefield. In Wakefield. <laughs> I've had the same problem. You know, it's just, it just stops a crowd every time I walk in. You know, it's, it's really like that. When I'm at the Wakefield Wildcats rugby team, you know, people are going, look at State of Air coming in. So it might have been the wrong, 
message it. No, but it's it's great. They're, they're, you still want to be turning heads. Come on, yeah. like, people are lying if they say that they don't. We all like a bit of attention, don't we? Do you know what I think? I look at that picture of those three women, mm. and I think they're three. Uh, film stars and it, the truth of the matter is that once you get over 50 there's not a lot of work in Hollywood for women over 50 so I think the three of them have thought let's relaunch our careers let's go to a basketball game together yeah. and it's a bit of a tout for well, play to them. So oh, no, I'm not knocking it, but can you think how many women of their age and older are in the movie industry winning awards and doing well Helen Mirren um, Meryl Streep, Susan, Sarandon. Uh, Susan mm. Sarandon, and then how many? Actually, to be fair, just the fact that three women went to see some kind of sporting thing, that was the giveaway. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they might like it. You see, you don't know. We Paisley. could go, we could go, couldn't we? We might sit and like it. No, we wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be trying to find a bar, wouldn't we? <laughs> Personally, I would be mortified. I, I'm not with you there, Jane, honestly. I, I can't stand all that. It's making me feel a bit ill about tonight, you know, all the... Look, look, look. I, I remember once going to this wedding in Ireland and uh, this a lovely, lovely friend of ours, Joan, and, and we went along and at the time I was really massive in storyline in Coronation Street and the priest stopped the service mm. to say, and guess who we've got here today? <gasps> Yeah, honestly, I wanted to die. And the whole congregation <gasps> turned round. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I can't bear anything like that. And it's somebody like else's wedding. Somebody else's wedding. I mean, Joan was brilliant. She was like, oh, it's the right nightmare. But I, it was just awful, so I don't like anything like that. No, I don't... I, I couldn't bear walking You're in You're making everybody... me even more anxious I know, about sorry. tonight. <laughs> because I've just remembered that last time I wore a wraparound dress and I went to an awards thing, I looked so good arriving, but then I needed to go to the loo. And I dashed to the loo and I pulled the dress up and it all fell apart and I couldn't put it no. back together. <laughs> and it was one piece of material and I went, I had arrived looking so chic, well, as chic as I can look, and uh, I came out looking like a parcel that had gone wrong. <laughs> well, you always turn heads. Well, yeah. I turn heads for the wrong reason, don't I? Don't I? I mean, oh. No, no, no. Oh. I'm not the slightest bit. I, when I go to these things, I'll be looking down at oh, the ground. Not when you're with us. Not when you're with us. You wear the brownie pack now. It's like well, a, what I like need is people to scarier. stand around me and shield the bit. You see, you're thinking... What, what I see, I think of us as sex in the city. Yeah. <laughs> a few of us think we're s prisoner cell block A. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see it as demented brownie pack. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you fitted right in. <laughs>